Okay, we're back. We're going to be running a program called Super Anti Spyware. Super Anti Spyware stands for Trojans, Viruses, Root Kits, anything like that. Okay, so some malware can block this program from running, so we'll just rename this to install. You can rename it to whatever you like as long as it's not blocked by the malware program. Okay, next, accept the license agreement. Next. Next and next. Okay, click finish. Yes, we're okay. Would you like to be any spyware to check for the latest rules and definition updates now? Yes. Okay, so it's going to check for the latest updates for the latest viruses, things like that. Okay, click next. Just get the email address. I want to make check for updates. Send a diagnostic report. Okay, click finish. Check the home page. Double check that you've updated. Okay, database definitions are up to date. Click OK. Scan the computer. Okay. In this case, we're going to be scanning C drive. The drive Windows is located on. Make sure that's ticked. Perform a complete scan. Click next and let it scan. Okay, as you can see, it scanned 303 memory items, detected nothing. It's going on to scanning the registry items. 2000 scan so far detected nothing okay and then it will go into scanning file items okay adware tracking cookie not all tracking cookies are bad for your computer some can actually help you but it is recommended that you delete them okay I'm not going to be completing the scan, but for you guys, it's recommended that you do. Okay, so we'll just let that box tick, click next, quarantining them. Alright, awesome, click finish, uh, click close, alright. Now, if you've still got problems with your computer, if you've still got suspected malware, anything on the computer, this is your last resort. Combo fixed. Used to scan for malware, delete it, do all sorts of stuff. Alright. Make sure combo fix is on the desktop when you run it. Make sure it's not anywhere else. Also, combo fix is only compatible to 32 bit windows. If you're running 64 bit windows, do not run this. Alright. Yes. Okay, has detected the following real time scanners to be active. Antivirus PC2009, that is a rogue antivirus or a fake. If you see that in a computer, it is recommended that you run these scans because Antivirus PC2009 is a very bad rogue. It's very hard to get rid of. Okay, click OK. Alright, let's click OK again. Okay. Okay, it's creating a new restore point in case it deletes the malware and makes it so your computer uh, doesn't boot up anymore or basically gets damaged. Like Windows gets damaged, so certain stuff won't run, or whatever. 
If that happens after this scan, then all you have to do is run system restore, go back to the point this created, and you should be fine. Okay, I think there's about 50 stages it goes through in this. It's recommended that you go through all of them for it to detect and delete malware. Okay, so you can see there's a log report being done. If you've still got problems with the computer after this, then you can copy this log report and post it onto a forum where an expert can help out. Okay, this pretty much covers it for how to manually delete viruses of the computer. I will be making a video on how to do this if your computer can no longer boot in normal mode or even boot in a safe mode. I'll see you guys later.